This game is huge for both coaches and both programs. Nick and I expect one player to step up and provide us with one shining moment in today's third round game between the Yale Bulldogs and the Connecticut Huskies. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Huskies should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Secondly, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Lastly, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Now trying to feed the low block. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. And he'll kick it back outside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He shoots from downtown. He nails the shot. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He's got to move the ball. They go into the low block. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Trying to feed the low block for two. Tries for two. I have to see that one again. with a face up. I tell you what, Brown, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Leans in, and he scores it off the glass. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He looks at the hoop. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Ooh, look at the shot block. He got some contact. Nice hops. Down inside, the power forward takes the pass. And he'll kick it back outside from three-point range. Goes. Let's take another look. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There's the pick. There's the roll. Great play to take that to the basket.
He keeps his dribble as they reset. He attempts the trifecta, sinks the shot. Manning is feeling great right now. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Dump it inside. The point guard gets the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. The small forward gets the ball. That's good. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Hatcher, pump fakes. Got a wide open look. Let's it fly. He gets the bucket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. Puts up the tray. Knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. Steals the ball. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. On the outside, the shooting guard with the ball. And the ball goes out of play. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Gets the rejection. There's a high screen. With a little baby hook. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. The center takes the feed. Stolen ball. He fakes the shot. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't know if there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have great post play, you got a chance really to win. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking for the foul. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a 
Dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Jumps into the defender. That's an 11-zip run. Time to talk it over. We've got a timeout. to the action. They work the perimeter. Double team now, that angle. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. There he is, strips the ball loose. Fast break opportunity here. It's a hoop and the foul. He showed good concentration on that possession, Brad. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. That's a 16-0 run. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Easy one. And that's 18 unanswered. <laughs> he didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Tempo game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. Now work it around the arc. The frustration right there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. Drains it. Good fake. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Another 
turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. With a bucket. And in and out. And we've got a whistle and a foul. post player flashing for two and he missed foul charge oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him wow look at the facial expression he says me he has a chance to cash him in makes the foul shot Connecticut are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they would keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. The UConn student section, also known unofficially as the Huskies faithful. They had a lot of success over the years. Hey, the coach does a great job here. He's got an eye for potential and talent. Great anticipation defensively. Goes out of bounds. In the paint. And one too many dribbles and a steal. The Huskies have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Here's a double team. High post screen. Sinks it. He squares up. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Drains the shot. On the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets the shot to fall. Working around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Moving it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. He shoots from the baseline. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Looking for a good shot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that, that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed. Easy basket. Dump it inside. Look at that spacing. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And now the fadeaway jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. And 
That's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. With the fake, Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The fake. He tries to knock down the three. He buries it. He bombs from outside. The Huskies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. In the paint. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gets it to go. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The power forward in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Working it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Pushes it up. For two, it sticks. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. There's the trap. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Shot clock is dead. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Outside. From left of the circle, the Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. At the end of the first half, the Huskies lead by 26. We've really been on a roller coaster here tonight, Dick. Any highlights of the half for our viewers? Hey, Brad, when you look back at the first half, you have to consider this three ball which set the tone for how the first half was going to go. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Connecticut shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron.
They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Watch out, five-second call approaching. The ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Dumps it in. Fakes it. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call. Dick. I take a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the outside. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Watch this. the perimeter picked out of the air I love it when teams help one another it's not a one-man game defensively you gotta help your teammate out you gotta rotate over tries for two doesn't go looking for a good shot on the dribble gives it up pushing that basketball Puts up the shot. He buries the shot. <laughs> Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. He's got some room. He looks for the bomb. Oh, yes. The Bulldogs are behind by 27. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Intercepted. Here they go into transition. For the bucket. He gets the bucket to fall. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. Picked off. Gave it up. The power forward receives the ball. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Ooh, ooh, look at the shot block. We've got some contact. Nice hops. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. 
<laughs> he puts it in with contact and all. Takes away the pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They work it around the perimeter. Bruce receives the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Good second opportunity. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time story. Dickie V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Joseph goes to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals a pass. He gets the bucket to fall. He quickly brings it up court. Downey makes it. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He hits it. Gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. He is going to the line. Buries it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. This BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Defense! 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 From beyond the arc. It's good. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta. You get off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And a momentary look from three-point land. Launches the three. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBM, nothing but nylon. Four two. He gets the shot to fall. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He lets it fly. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Turnaround jumper. 
I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, possibly the block. He intercepts it. Joseph handles the pass. Here's the three ball. He hits it. Two coming here. High post flashes. He throws up the shot. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Rad. He dials long distance. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. All right, thanks, Aaron. Joseph handles the feed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He can't get one to fall. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Bulldogs are down by 32. and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Up and in. He misses the second. his third. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Picks off the lazy pass. There's the screen up on top. He throws it up from downtown. The Huskies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Defense, 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 defense. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Outside jumper. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. <laughs> 
for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Great defense. Draws the and they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders, that's awesome, Brad. With one attempt. Foul shot is not good. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He drains it. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Line. Makes the shot. Goes up for two. Lays it up. Steals the pass. Looking for a good shot. Three-pointer. You betcha. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Gave it up. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. In the paint. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out executing a game plan and ended up on top. Picked out of the air. Beyond the arc. Great shot. He tries a three ball. Way off target. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. He tries the three. The Huskies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. For two, up and in. I'll tell you, I can't understand defensively how guys don't see the ball and man. That was just simply a case of not seeing ball and man.
on the dribble, gives it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two, and he scores it off the glass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from outside. Makes it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the outside. Here's a double team. Defense giving some room. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Foul called. He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad, but he got it up anyway. steps to the line for the first time. Just like in practice. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes away the pass. perimeter looking for a good shot stolen I'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box there's the trap goes up for two perfectly executed that's a nice looking play right here. Nice high post screen. Look at that spacing. Up and inside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ten on the shot clock. He launches the bomb. The Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Takes away the pass. I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Huskies makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory.